So let's go now to secret number two. Your personal taste and preferences shouldn't dictate your website. User come first. The user data analysis will be the most relevant agent of change in your site, triggering from content updates to the inclusion of new features. Before you make updates or changes to your site, you must check that they will work good with your current set of data and not what you think or your personal preferences. Your site needs to be functional and performant for your customers. Again, it doesn't matter if you like it or not. So once your site is running and generating sales, you will need to make adjustments and include customizations based on your shopper behavior. Here's where you are going to use all the data analysis we talked about before. If you're running your site with a high conversion theme, you will have a solid foundation on which to build your customization. Our themes are designed to cover UX expectations based in an extensive UX research. And Tavano Themes also contemplates conversion optimization, giving you a strong base to start converting from day one. So let's talk about customizations. When your data gives you enough information, it's time to mold your website to the needs and expectations of your customers. So for example, um, one common um, addition to, to e-commerce website now is accessibility. Here you can see it in, in Browse Jordan, that is a fully automated web, web accessibility solution. Other example also in Browse Jordan is Cilindo's uh, product customizer integration. So you can see that all customization in, in this case and in all cases uh, should be decided upon customer insights. Please don't take customizations as a bad word because there is no building solution perfect for your business. You will always need to perform customizations, prioritizing your customer needs taken from the user research and data analysis I talked before. So it's important to listen, listen to the data, but don't forget about best practice. Your site should respond to established structures and page standards also. What takes me to the UX Jacobs law, which is a UX principle described by Jacob Nielsen that recommends the use of familiar patterns in design in order to facilitate user experience because users prefer it when a site works in the same way as all the other sites they already know. By the use of familiar design patterns, you can simplify the learning process for users and increase their purchase conversions. So creating a design and flows that are too new or fancy can actually dissuade users from staying, staying on your site and making purchase. Your site needs to simplify your buyer journey. Your theme needs to remove all the possible friction. So if you go too different from the e-commerce standards, your user will feel uncomfortable. It's important to provide an easy to navigate and convert experience. For example, uh, nobody display the hamburger menu on the bottom right corner. This forced clients to think more than they should to navigate your site. Even if you think of having the hamburger menu at the bottom right corner, it wouldn't be effective at all because users expect it to be at the top. It doesn't matter if you think it, it makes better sense and even if you have a logical argument for it, it's not about being right, it's about intuition and how user feels. If you look closely, you will see that themes respond to layout structures and there are common sections between sites. The challenge for you is to define the proper contents to them based on good looking images and applying your brand fonts and colors based always on, on the data we talked before. So users now look for interactive websites. They want dynamic shopping experience and for it, Obviously, good UX and UI design is crucial for e-commerce growth, but it's not enough. You need users to engage with your site. So taking this into con consideration, our latest addition to our themes was to incorporate effects, micro interactions and animations to improve shopper experience, taking our themes to a new level. So bottom line, if you want to accelerate growth, any improvements, changes or customization you make to your website must be thinking of user first. You need to understand them and try to be one step ahead of, the, of what they want.
This will improve their experience significantly and they will increasingly comfortable using your website and shopping repeatedly. If we got an enjoyable, easy to use website that looks beautiful and predicts the kind of service the visitor might want, you are in the right path. But remember, this process never stops.